Hi guys, welcome to G Whiskey. My name is Jeff. Uh, today we are looking at an Irish whiskey. So today we've got Redbreast 15. Stick around, let's check it out. So this is a category of whiskey that I wish I could explore more. Um, it is growing in popularity where I live, but um, here in Taiwan, Scotch reigns supreme. You have your Japanese, you have your Americans. Um, that being said, I do see a bit of change and there are more and more Irish popping up on the shelves these days. Uh, but admittedly, it's not a category that I've had a lot of experience with. So the Irish have a little bit more of a broad definition of what whiskey is. Um, the closest thing to scotch, for example, would be a single malt whiskey. Um, obviously, we're using malted barley there and that's going to be done completely with a pot still. You also have your uh, grain whiskey. So um, grain whiskey, it's going to be, let's say, corn or wheat. They're typically done in uh, coffee stills as opposed to pot stills. These are a little bit lighter, a little bit less distinctive. Like in Scotland, the grain whiskey will often be used for a blend, but in Ireland you also have your uh, single grain whiskeys, which are also available. Some of them are pretty good, actually. Next up, you have single pot still whiskey. Uh, single pot still whiskey is a little bit different from single malt whiskey. Of course, they're made in pot stills. They're both made using barley. The difference being something like this is going to be made with both malted and unmalted barley. Um, so for our Red Breast 15, Red Breast, by the way, is the biggest single pot still whiskey, I believe. You also have your spot series, so those are going to be green, yellow, and red spot. Also good, I haven't tried all of them though. Um, but anyway, for this one, from Middleton Distillery in Cork, I believe, and uh, this one is 46%, natural color, unchill filtered, we like all of those things, and it's, um, I believe, a mix of Oloroso sherry casks and bourbon casks, so you're going to have some different styles working together in this one. Let's check it out. All right, let's uh, let's nose this, huh? So this is a really interesting nose. It's uh, it starts out with these kind of tropical, uh, bright, clear, crisp notes, um, a little bit earthy actually. Then you have your sherry and your spices and your oak, a fair amount of oak actually. I mean, for a 15 year old, it you can smell the maturity from this, but. The sherry never gets very dark. It's never like this dark, deep, brooding sherry. It's it works nicely. It's in tandem, or it's well mingled with the uh, with the bourbon notes. So it's a light, bright, tropical sherry. If that makes any sense, it's really it's really expressive and complex. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, I mean, this is good. This is good. All right, let's taste this thing. Okay, so the first thing you're going to be hit with is the sherry. Um, you have some, you know, some dark fruits, some baking spices in there. Kind of like a buttery, buttery aspect going on. The texture itself is kind of oily. Um, not very, but somewhat oily. Good texture. Uh, pretty smooth, pretty rounded arrival, but not lacking in terms of, I mean, there's a punch to it. It's, uh, it's bodied. Overall, it hits really nice. I like the way this, uh, this works. All right, let's try the finish here. Okay, so dates, oak, oak spice, you know, your sherry's in there. Again, not too deep or dark, but more of a higher pitched, brighter, cleaner sherry, if that makes sense. Um, you have vanilla fudge, you have some fruits in here, maybe some red apples, maybe a hint of banana. So this is a really good one. It's well integrated. I like the integration here. What you have on one side is this sort of like traditional, um, bright, crisp, clean Irish profile. On the other side, you have your Oloroso casks and they're working some magic as well. Again, not too deep, not too dark. Uh, they kind of match the tone of the brighter notes uh, in the whiskey. So integration, fantastic. It's not often you find a sherried whiskey that you describe as tropical. Uh, this one actually kind of fits the bill, which I think is interesting. Um, again, bright and clean, love it. Uh, beyond that, what you have is really good oak influence here. Uh, when, even just from the nose, the moment I smelled it for the first time, I, I remember thinking, is this is this only 15 years old? You could tell me this is maybe 16, 18 years old. I might believe it. Beyond just having the sherry influence, the bourbon influence, the oak itself from the cask is really coming through. It really shines through in this one. Uh, for score, I'm probably I really like this one I'm gonna give it a 91 um, just a fantastic dram easy to drink bodied rich delicious good stuff um, so yeah 
As I mentioned, uh, by the way, I've only had a few Irish whiskeys, so I'm not an Irish whiskey as expert in the least. Um, it's only been a handful. The ones I've tried, I generally enjoyed. There have been a few duds along the way. Um, for Redbreast, in fact, I was a little bit wary to buy the 15, uh, because I have had a Redbreast before that I didn't love. It was the 12, but it was not the 12 cast strength. The 12 cast strength, stuff of legend, I've never tried it, I'd like to. Uh, the one I tried was the regular 12. The regular 12 is, uh, how much is it, 40%? It's a lower ABV one, and I remember liking the flavors and thinking, wow, this tastes really good, but at the same time, it does come off a little bit watery. You do kind of find yourself wishing that there was more flavor going on there. So ultimately, um, I'm glad I got the 15. Really, really good stuff. Oh my goodness, what's that? All right, sorry about that. My robot vacuum is yelling at me. Uh, where was I? Redbreast 15, yeah, okay, so one thing I would say about Redbreast 15 uh, before I go is that I think this would be a great transition scotch, so if you, scotch, scotch, whiskey, so if you know someone who's uh, almost exclusively into scotch and you want to sort of like wean them onto uh, Irish whiskey, particularly if they're into space ciders or fruitier, fruitier types of whiskeys, um, if you want to get them, introduce them rather to an Irish whiskey, this would be a great place to start. You have your complexity, but you also have those sort of like familiar sherry notes um, so I think this is well suited for a scotch drinker and a great introduction to Irish whiskey. Overall, really fantastic. What did I give it? 91. I stand by that. Wonderful juice. Uh, definitely pick it up. I think price-wise it's pretty reasonable. Where I bought mine, it's a little bit more on the expensive side as far as a 15-year-old goes. There are cheaper 15-year-olds, but I think it's worth that extra money because you're getting a good amount of quality with this juice. Um, really fantastic stuff. Try it out when you get the chance. So that'll be it for me today, guys. Thanks very much. Um, if you like this video, you can smash that like down below. Please comment, please subscribe. Let me know what you'd like me to review next, if there's anything that you'd like to discuss or hear about, any bottles that you'd like to see me review. Do let me know in the comments down below, and uh, we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.